So this should be where we left off for after our segmentation step. Have this nice limited view of the prep as well as the mesio and distal contact areas. Also, if there is no mesio and distal contact, you can just skip those steps. I forgot to mention that in the last video. So what we'll do now is click Initiate Margin, which again, that will reset our view to the top. Hit G to grab. You want to place it anywhere on the margin. And what uh, the settings are such that it's going to be stuck on this point will always stick to the closest spot on the surface. Right. Hit E to extrude and don't worry that this isn't you know this isn't following it just yet. Just kind of pick some nice points along the way. Let's see you can hand around that one slip down a little bit. Um, if you have a really nice clear margin, you can literally just look at this from the top and go right around pretty quickly. And if you look at the uh, the pass through crown start to finish, you'll see that you know this doesn't take but a second if you're proficient at it. So you get to here when you have about equidistant space as your other points. Um, if you're if you were doing a first premolar and you had some concavities and things, it's good to place one of these control points kind of at any local minima or local maxima as they say meaning uh, you know a convex piece and then the bottom of a concave piece and as you work with this is called a bezier curve as you work with beziers um, you'll get a better feel for kind of how they behave so what we'll do now is we'll close the margin kind of survey around make sure there's nothing you know make sure there's no points that have slipped off or didn't get placed quite where you wanted them. And we'll go to the refine margin. So now we'll take a look around. So right here, we might want to move this up a little bit. Just to, I mean, you can spend all day doing this. Uh, another thing you might want to do is if you know if you have a densely packed and kind of stretch these out, but it really does not matter. And you can spend as much time on this as as you want. It's good for now. So what we'll do now is now that we've got it like we like it, we want to accept the margin. And what this does is it um, goes through and interpolates between all those points and packs down to a very, very dense uh, vertex spacing. Which is not a not a big deal on this mesh because you can see the vertex spacing of the margin is actually closer than the original mesh, and we're not creating any information there. So, but on some of the this is a Serona blue cam file, and they have a little bit less data than say a lava chairside oral scanner file or one of their lab scanners. That's why that is so densely packed. All right, once we've done that. We want to make sure you don't grab these handles accidentally and move anything. Place the 3D cursor by left clicking um, about where you think you want the tooth to go. Uh, usually a little a little higher is better. Right. We'll go insert crown form. Choose a tooth from our tooth library. Uh, right now we just have some very generic unsculpted teeth but later this will be your options will be a little more varied and a little more appealing uh, too fast All right, there it is um, the next thing we'll do is click auto rough and this will only work if you have a mesial and a distal uh, a mesial and a distal contact uh, and also this feature is still very much in development and it usually uh, not too bad usually gets it close and also at this point this crown looks pretty rough over here to the wrench set the preview up to the fullest level of detail 
And really, actually, that should that should happen automatically. So this would be a good time to go here, go to the bug reports, and fill out this form. So anytime you encounter something that's um, a nagging usability thing, just describe it, kind of tell me when it happens, and I'll work on fixing that. Because I definitely want to make sure that the usability is on par with uh, people's expectations. Uh, sorry for the side note. Once we do that, we will adjust this in here. Also, you can hide the master to kind of visualize your contacts. Got him relatively, relatively pleased. All right. The next thing we'll do is we'll hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. So when you're looking at all the objects and they look normal and colored, you're in object mode. Uh, when you select a single object and hit tab and you're looking at you know, this kind of meshwork, you are in edit mode. What we can do now is grab individual pieces of the mesh and move it around. So for example, if we want to kind of see the opposing tooth and because this is a dentiform and it has great occlusion and I've done this case a bunch of times, you know, it's already more or less, you know, the ridges are in the right spots. Uh, but just for an example, we could enable proportional editing. Hit G to grab this vertex. Now if you scroll the middle mouse wheel, it changes the sphere of influence of what you've grabbed. If I come to here, I can, I can really grab it. We'll kind of place that there. Maybe bring this back just a little bit. Visualize our embrasure form. That's fine. Check out our occlusion. Maybe we want this spot to be a little higher. But these to be a little lower. And we don't want to mess with the um, kind of heights of contour just yet because we're going to do one more step before that that will affect affect it. Also, while you're here, you'll want to delete everything that's below the prep. Uh, for Usually this should be as easy as holding down Alt and right-clicking. Maybe Wait a second. There we go. And if you click on the edge, it'll select the whole ring. And you just hit X delete. Or, alternatively, hit A to highlight everything. Hold down K and you kind of cut through here and then hit trim excess. And now everything's a little bit above the margin. And the reason this is because the my function which seats this down onto the margin performs a little better if it pulls them down rather than pushes them up. It kind of scrunches things if it pushes it up whereas it kind of smooths it out if it, if it pulls it down onto the margin. And just kind of surveying around here. Also you can use Alt-B again to you know, visualize your thicknesses. Um, this is a very uh, conservative preparation, so we're a little thin here. But we probably would not want to adjust our groove. Okay, enough playing around. We will seed it to the margin. This will take just a couple moments. And there we go. So I think that should be all for now for the basic editing and designing.